Howdy y'all, this is Texas Gaming Industries here, and welcome back to another episode of my Let's Play Transport Fever 2 Free Mode Edition. In the previous episode, we not only required, well, acquired the new Hudson-type locomotives, but we also got our first diesel rail car in service between the two communities of Whiskey and Pine Valley. And in this episode, we're going to continue on expanding our operations and hopefully connect to Granite, which is the last town on the map. But first things first, we need to also get started on transporting some more cargo around the map. First of all, champagne is a commodity that's sorely needed in some locations. But the only place that needs it is granite. But once the town started getting more cargo brought in, that will change. Let's see. Silverware is needed at whiskey. Do I have silver already being produced? I'm not so sure. Do I? I got bauxite and I got gold, but I haven't gotten any other types of. And I do have copper being made, but I don't have silver. Hmm. Let's see. Blue water, steel, well, blue water city oil. Let me see. Oh, the Shinestown Silver Mill needs silver ore. Let's see. If I could connect this here to... Hmm. How am I going to deliver the silver from here to there on this particular... I think I might just be able to just cobble a track from this mine to the main line somehow. I also forgot to mention, I also have this new station, the Buffalo Central Terminal. I think I might eventually replace one of the original stations on the routes, well, on one of the routes, with this particular station, particularly at a large junction station. Alright, silver tr mine track is down. Well, the station for the silver mine is in place. Miles an hour, straight track, turn to the left, go over this crossing near the chemical plant. Let's see. And we'll basically place this down. Go down here, go straight, and then do a curve. Actually, since it's freight, well, since it is part of the electrified route, why not I just use it just for electric freight traffic? But that means I'll have to basically find a way to connect this track to this. Let's see. Hmm. That means I'll finally be able to, like, Go f straight here, over this, over that, to connect to that. Which I'm gonna basically do. But that basically means I'll also have to, uh... Actually, I don't think I need to electrify it. I mean, a steam-powered train is going to pick up the loads of silver bars and then take them over. Oh, too much slope. I think my tracks are a little too low for a bridge. I better race the track up a bit. Raise it up a tiny bit more. Make this into an embankment. Make this into another embankment. And then make a track over this over these two. Which is going to be a silver low plate girder bridge. Or, actually, let's 
basically use this particular bridge design. Uh, this one, I believe. And then basically redo the same track again on the other side, but convert that into something like this. Then make a downhill decline from the top of that track. Go down this way. Do that. Do that as well. that tone to the left and basically do it like this all right now to take care of some of the trees on this particular section. And here. And now just to basically add the trees to the track. Well, not trees, this bridge supports. Let's see. Cross beam center rail. Jack Girder style bridges. Let's see, is this the correct design? It shouldn't basically be the uh, what about the cross beam pillars? Those work. A, those look a little better. I'll put one over here, and that will basically do it for this. Oh, and actually, one here in the middle as well. Then we have to do the same for these bridges. Perfect. Now I just need some abutments, basically, at both ends of the bridge. Oh, and we got the new JD1D Hudson as well. Uh, that's not gonna work. Maybe I could try using these brick ones instead. I mean, they don't look accurate, but... Nah, they're not gonna work. I probably might... Might as well basically flatten this out a bit. And our company is now back in the billions again. Great. Now I just need to get up to 10 billion to complete another task. Do 
that. Do this. Place down this abutment. Oh, block abutments. This will work a lot better. Then just add this. And that will basically do it for the bridges. Let me see. Considering the track is going to go over the road here, I might as well basically delete those tracks. But instead of just a regular bridge over the road here, I think I got a much better idea for a road bridge. Well, dang it, too low. I'm basically gonna try to convert this road down here to something else. And, oh yeah, forgot to mention, by the 20s, the, all the dirt roads are no longer, well, dirt. They are now paved. And if I get this right, yeah, like that. I'm gonna basically use a girder bridge over the road instead. That's how far I can go, huh? That's fine. Then replace it with the girder, tr with the bridge, but well, the track for the girder bridge. Do that, and that, and then add some supports for the bridge. How do I, how did I do this the last time? Jeez, I can't even remember what kind of bridge support this uses. I know the but the buttons are needed at both ends of the bridge to keep it in place. Uh, I think it's okay. But other than that, though, we got another set of tracks finished. Now to basically set everything up so we can start delivering silverware. First of all, I need to place down some signals for the new route. I might eventually convert all the roads on this map to using the the new asphalt variant pretty soon, but we'll have to wait and see. We'll connect the silver mine. And according to the silver mill, the only place it's needed is at the silver products factory. So we could basically only just need two trains. Well, we just need a two track station.
We're on the catenary. Do that, and then do the connection here. Connect that to this. Put this, put this down. There we go. Now that should be finished. Now to set up a new route. Let's see. Which one was the one that carried gold? Freight train E1? So, since this is going to be a new freight service, we're going to be delivering silver ore for the first time. This is going to be freight train... Let's see. Oh, E is for mineral, so... This is going to be freight train E6. It's going to be classified under minerals, silver ore. Do that. Full load. Ten minutes. Considering these electric freight trains are quite heavy, I'm probably going to use a pair of these steeple cabs to carry the loads of silver ore. And the hoppers that I'm going to use for the silver ore are going to be... Hmm. They're just going to be in these open top gaunts. Gotta add a caboose to the rear end of the train. This is gonna... Considering there's already another electric freight on the line, this will be known as Electric Train B. And sign it to the new Silver Ore operation. And with that being taken care of, now we need to set up a new operation to pick and deliver silver and copper ore bars to this factory here in Grand Valley. And Whiskey's the only town on the map that needs silverware right now. So we could basically pick it up and just deliver it into Whiskey with trucks. But I'm going to have it as a three-road station for now, just in case if we get more business and it has another demand for this particular product. And also, we need to get rid of this, this, and this. And then we need to start connecting the track. No catenary. And then basically connect, connect here again, and do that, and that. Perfect. The new track is set up, but now we need to figure out how we're going to connect this track to this. Guess we'll have to build another bridge over the river. I think I'll probably build another girt, build another truss bridge. Have I already connected to the Oh, there's no uh, road crossing on this yet. Let's see, where is that? Here we are. Convert this into an embankment, make this into a rule gray crossing, and then connect the two together. We'll just smooth out the terrain a little. And now, once we add the signals and sign up another train to deliver the silver bars, we'll then also have to set up another train to pick up the copper ore bars and take it down to the factory.
So we'll finally get started on producing that type of stuff. And what's going on now? Train 1, Train 5. Oh, I see the problem. This train has just pulled in, so... Right now, the track is blocked. But, soon enough, once this train leaves, this track will be clear for the other train to pull in. So, it's only temporary. We'll also need to set up the signals along this section here. And now we get a new locomotive. The Timken 4 Aces 4A4 Norva. A new diesel switcher, the Alco HH600. And a new Ford Model 77 pickup truck. And that's basically it. So, with the arrival of that new locomotive, we can finally, finally, after so many years of hard working service, train number 7 will finally have a new locomotive that's basically hauled its load of barrels of alcohol to town. This new diesel will basically take care of that. Now, that Timken 484 could be very useful on a heavy freight. So, we'll basically save it for now. I gotta change these signals here too. As well as these. And get rid of these old lower signals. But with the new 44, we basically have a much heavier engine travel and much higher speeds delivering the loads of gold, well, silver and copper ore. Not silver and copper ore, silver and copper bars. Let's see, which, pro which category was it? Process products. So, it's going to be under train, freight train D5. Which is processed ducks, which is silver. We'll have a full load at Soyton Shinston. We'll copy this as well because we're gonna also do the same for the top for the gold bars as well. Not gold, jeez. Sorry, but sometimes I have so much on my mind that I can't speak. This will be a new service, and since there's going to be multiple industries that need it, I'm going to convert the... It's going to be... Do that. Have a full load. Ten minutes. Let's see. Where would that train pick up the load? Track one? Alright, that's fair. Now to the sh now to buy the new equipment. This new Timken 484 Aces could be very beneficial. Though, we got to try to give it a better paint scheme for handling this. But also, this locomotive could be useful on a passenger train. Which... Let's see. Which serve express train do I don't want to update? Atlantic's okay, but yeah, this old 440 is finally ready for the retirement. And we'll add the new Timken 484 into service. And there she is. This new 484 will be basically a lot much more efficient on handling this load. And why did I change the color? Because I thought it was okay. So, the concept is a little small for this Pokemon, so I'm going to modify it just a bit. We'll get those other locomotives in place, and then we'll basically finish up this episode. There. Much better. Now has two sleepers, two coaches, with parlor and dining cars. We'll also basically get a gray variant of this locomotive. And get some box 
and basically use some of these pat these cars to carry the silver and carry the bars in. Since copper and silver bars are worth a lot of money. No I'll need a caboose as well. I'll need to purchase two of these. Hundred and ninety six million dollars. I'll assign this one to pick up the loads of silver. And this one to pick up the loads of copper. And that will basically be it. So, if you enjoyed this episode of my Let's Play Transport Fever 2, please be sure to leave a like, comment, and subscribe. That's Texas Gaming Industries for new video uploads every Friday or Saturday, depending on my own schedule. And as always, thank you very much for watching, and I'll see you all in the next episode. Bye!